everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good today. So in today's video, I am actually going to do uh, my top 5 favorite foundations that are under the price of rupees 500. Now these foundations will give you medium to full coverage and they look absolutely stunning on the skin. And I'm going to show you guys swatches, applications and everything on my skin so that you can totally see how each foundation looks like so without further ado let's get started also if you are someone who's new to my channel thank you uh, for you know uh, watching this video and if you like it here i post mainly about affordable makeup skincare fashion on this channel so if you think that's a content you want to watch every single week you can hit the subscribe button along with that the notification bell as well so yeah let's get on with the video now so before talking about the foundation, I'm just going to give you guys a rough swatches of every foundation that looks uh, how it looks on my skin. So as for shade reference, I am NC35 in MAC and in Maybelline Fit Me, I am 230 Natural Buff. So I just wanted to give you guys the gist of, uh, you know, my foundation shade so that you can get how it looks on my skin. I am in the shade medium warm in most of the foundation. Foundations. So the only foundation that actually doesn't match me is the Mars Blossom Soft Matte Foundation. Other than that, all the foundations that you are seeing completely matches me and it suits my skin tone and undertone perfectly well. So let's first talk about the foundation. This is the Lakme 9 to 5 foundation. So recently I tested this foundation out and oh my god i fell in love with this foundation instantly i am someone if i like a foundation i know right off the bat yes this is going to be my new favorite foundation and yes it is i already have talked about this foundation like twice on my channel and i feel like it is one of the best foundation it is uh, like a primer matte foundations and if you have been watching me you know that i have dry skin so i tend to wear much more dewy foundations but this foundation is so good it has a unique formulation to it unique as in a way like when you first apply this it is going to look dewy and according to the weather for example it's very humid and you're sweating and all of that it's going to stay matte but i have noticed that when i feel like my skin is like a little bit dry this doesn't look matte it kind of stays dewy so i think so it really works with your skin to give you the perfect formulation and perfect you know finish to the skin so i just feel like it is a very satin type of finish and I personally really, really love this foundation a lot. It gives me medium coverage. You can build it up to full coverage as well. It can be used for a good everyday foundation, but I tend to wear this whenever I am just going out and about. And also I like to wear this in my videos because this looks so good and it just gives that very flawless kind of an effect. So I really have been loving this foundation a lot. And I got this uh, for around, around like 400 rupees or something like that. Uh, yeah 475 rupees so for that it is definitely worth worth you know so i feel like the let me 9 to 5 foundation can be used for oily skin combination skin dry skin any skin type and i don't think so this foundation it does not oxidize on me so the next foundation I have here is this Miss Claire Everyday Foundation. Now this foundation, I like it because it gives such a good finish on the skin. It, it leans more towards dewy finish. It's not like ultra glowy or anything of that sort, but it definitely has a very good dewy finish on the skin. So if you are someone who have oily skin, you can powder down your base and it still looks pretty good. For people who are dry skin and who like who wants a very good everyday kind of foundation i think so you are going to enjoy this but uh, i think uh, like i feel like this foundation uh, the coverage on this is very medium and you can build it up to a full coverage but i tend to keep it medium coverage you know because i like that medium you know light coverage foundations on my skin but you can totally build it up to full coverage now another thing i have to talk about this is how weightless this feels on the skin it doesn't even feel like you're wearing foundation and it blends into the skin really really well like once you start blending this out you feel like oh my god my skin just looks so flawless so i just feel like it is one of the best foundations i have tried especially if you have dry skin i urge you guys to get this foundation as i said it's not extremely hydrating sometimes you know when foundations are extremely hydrating I, it tends to slip and slide off my face throughout the day but this one doesn't do that at all it looks hydrating it looks flawless it looks glowy it is going to give you that amazing finish on the skin without you know 
without like coming off your face at the end of the day so i just feel like one of the best foundations i have tried it is very affordable you know it i think so it retails for around 325 rupees and uh another thing i want to talk about this foundation is that it doesn't oxidize at all and it looks good when you powder this um and it looks pretty good so another thing i do want to talk about this foundation is that the shade range on this is amazing so you are going to get your perfect shade i feel like as a affordable brand they really did a very good job with the shades so the next foundation i have here is from mars now this is the blossom soft matte foundation now this foundation i have tried it out like six months ago i think so and a lot of you guys were asking my opinion on the mars blossom foundation so here it is I really do like uh, the, this foundation a lot. This, I would say, is a very full coverage foundation. It definitely is soft matte. I would totally agree on it, but it is a like a very full coverage foundation, you know. So if you are someone who wants that really heavy duty glam type of foundation in a very affordable range, I think so you are going to love the Mars foundation. Again, all of the foundation I'm talking about, I just want to specify that even though they are very less in price, the finish, the formulations of this foundation work like high end, some of, you know, good high end foundations. So yeah, the finish on this is also really, really good. Even though it says it's a matte, it's a full coverage foundation, you are not going to feel that heaviness of full coverage on your skin and that is something that I absolutely enjoy you know about foundations when it doesn't feel heavy on my skin and that is why I like to use this so this foundation I specifically keep for you know days when I just want to cover up a lot and I just want to look glam and all of that and also if you are someone who is really into Instagram makeup you're going to love this foundation because first of all this pictures really well second thing is it since it's like a really you know uh, full coverage foundation it looks very good in pictures and it just looks very good in videos and all so again for full coverage glam looks this is the foundation i pick and uh, so, as i said since it's a matte foundation it doesn't really give that full on matte effect it is a matte foundation yet it's hydrating so even if you have oily skin you're still going to love this i feel like uh, this foundation is going to suit all skin types and also i just want to say that this uh, the shade 04 pure beige is not my shade at all it is a very very light as you can totally see it is light but this foundation i think it oxidizes a little bit because by the time i'm putting this on my skin and at the end of my makeup, this kind of matches my skin tone, like not perfectly well, but it does match my skin tone, you know, after quite a while. So I feel like, yes, this foundation has a little bit of that oxidization thing. So make sure whenever you get this foundation, you know, try to get this in one shade lighter. This one is actually two shades lighter than my skin tone. So yeah, it doesn't match me perfectly. But if I would have gotten one shade lighter than my skin tone, I think due to the oxidization thing, it would match me really, really well. So yeah, again, I love the Mars uh, Soft Matte Foundation a lot, especially for glam days. And I just have a code with Mars as well. You can use my code to get 10% off or, you know, choose not to use it. That's up to you. So the next foundation I have is the truly beloved everybody's Fit Me Foundation. Now I have this in a pouch because I got this from Nykaa while I was, you know, I got this as a freebie from Nykaa. So I have been using this. I, I got like five pouches of the Fit Me. So I, I don't have the full size, but once I run out of this, I am going to get the full size. So anyway, I have been using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundations. It's been like almost, I would say, five to six years I have been using this foundation continuously. And every time I put the Maybelline Fit Me, I'm like, yes, this is a very, very good foundation. It never fails, you know. It never fails to make my skin look flawless. And the best thing I like about Maybelline Fit Me is that if you use just a little bit, it's going to be like act like a BB cream kind of a thing. And I know I don't need to go, you know, too much into this foundation because I feel like everybody has tried it. But I still had to put this out in today's video because it is definitely top five. It falls under, you know, top five favorite foundations. So ever since I got this foundation, I have been obsessed with it. Until now, I really use it every single time. This is the foundation I have on my skin, by the way, right now. The foundation that you see the base makeup it's this maybelline fit me i don't even need that much of this to cover it up it is a very satin finish very beautiful if you haven't gotten the fit me you totally totally should i think everybody has it but still so the next foundation i have here is the inside stay matte liquid foundation now first when i saw this i was very hesitant to get it because it's a matte foundation but i still you know got it anyhow because i really wanted to test this out it was everybody's favorite foundation so i got it it retails for only 200 i think yeah this is the 
most affordable foundation that I'm going to talk about from all the foundations. This is the most affordable one. So I got this shade. I think I, I don't remember the shade name. I'll leave it in the description box as usual. So when I got it, I, I actually swatched this on my hands and I was like, mm, maybe this is going to look too matte. But as I was swatching it, as I was blending it out only with my fingers, by the way, in my hand, I was like, wow, this has a very good finish. You know, it just made my skin like very matte and it just looks so good even my only with on my hand you know it was looking very very good so i was super excited to try it out on my face and since i tried it out i was like oh my god this gives me full coverage you know i am someone i am not about the full coverage thing but i got this and i was like i love how it looks on my skin it just looks like i'm not wearing foundation but my skin just is like perfect and flawless i love it but one thing i have noticed is that i have dry skin so if i don't use a moisturizing primer it kind of tends to settle in this area like in my lines area so i always use a very good moisturizing primer if you have oily skin look no further you're going to love the inside stay matte it doesn't oxidize at all and yeah for someone who have dry skin you know get this foundation you're going to love this and uh, just use a moisturizing primer that's the only thing about this i have noticed that uh by time also like you know throughout the day it doesn't feel heavy and it doesn't feel like you know i'm wearing a foundation and it doesn't look bad like it doesn't look too matte or powdery when i'm applying this foundation i do not use powder because that can be a little too much but still it has a very good coverage it looks so good on the skin and it is so affordable and that is why i feel like you can totally check it out if you are someone who's on a budget and you're looking for a good full coverage matte foundation i think you're going to love this again the only thing is the shade range isn't that great you know on these foundations i just wish that they increase the shade range because that would be totally awesome because then everybody can go ahead and buy this but yeah just the thing is that the shade range isn't that great of this foundation but other than that I really do love this foundation a lot so that was it for today's video i hope you guys liked it let me know about your thoughts and your favorite foundation actually it can be you know high end it can be drugstore it can be affordable it can be under rupees 200 100 rupees it does not matter i really want to know about you know your favorite foundations and these are my favorite foundations i hope you guys liked it let me know how you like the quality of this video because i did just upgrade my quality and i'm hoping that this looks good like on camera it's looking quite good and i just want to know your opinion as a viewer i would love to hear your feedback as well because i honestly take your feedback into consideration sometimes i may be you know slow at replying to comments but whenever i read something i'm like okay i do have to keep that in mind while filming the video and yeah that's why i really try to improve the quality of my videos because i just want you guys to see the best on this channel so yeah let me know about it in the comments down below and more affordable videos coming in the future so yeah so if you watch the video till here you can subscribe and hit the notification bell as well so before leaving i just wanted to discuss something with you guys with my subscribers here uh, as i said i really take your opinions into consideration so what i was thinking is i have some high-end makeup like you guys know i totally do affordable things on this channel right here but i do have some mac makeup i do have sephora which i actually got by myself mac was gifted to me so i do have those makeup lying in my collection but i want to you know incorporate them in my channel as well i was like thinking or hesitant you know to incorporate them because they are high-end and you guys know my channel is mostly you know in affordable makeup category so but still i just wanted to bring a little bit of variety on this channel but it's not going to be a you know thing on this channel we are not going to do only high-end uh i'm thinking of including high end once a month so let me know about that once a month i'm going to do like a week dedicated to high end so it can be like you know the high end makeups that are worth your money or high end makeups that i love or you know any high end makeup like one kind of a review kind of a thing as well if i splurge into buying any makeup from the high end category i will review it for you guys if it's worth it or not something of that sort you know a week dedicated to high end makeup so let me know how you think about that because i do have some makeup from sephora and mac and honestly trust me you guys it's not going to be a thing on my channel i love affordable makeup and if i try out some higher makeup if i don't like it i'm going to give you guys affordable alternatives to this as well so yeah let me know your thoughts on this particular subject too i love hearing your thoughts and thank you so much for watching this video i'm so sorry about the whole thing you know because this video was quite long i think so so anyway i love you guys a lot and i'll see you in my next one bye, -bye.